Hi, it's Mr. Tush over at Global, and I'm introducing your next assignment in uh, Exploring Computer Science called PowerPoint or PowerPointless. The point of this is to tell a story, and what you're going to do with this assignment is you're going to tell the story of a major event, either in the Civil Rights Movement or in an independence movement somewhere in the world. But the issue is I want you to tell a story. That's the big operative word here. So what we're going to do, you're going to tell your story in a non-textual way. I don't want text on this slides. I want to see images. I want to see pictures. You're going to have to turn and talk to your audience using these pictures to back up what you're saying. But you're the story. When you tell your story, I want it to have a good shape. So the shape has to have begin with a backstory. Give me a context. If you're talking about the civil rights movement, you should let us know about what the Jim Crow South looked like. If you're going to talk about Tiananmen Square, for example, you're going to have to talk about a repressive communist regime. These are all parts of the backstory to your uh, story that you're telling. We need to know who the major players are, who are the leaders, um, and the, the main characters in it. Uh, and give us the main characters on both sides. Right here I'm showing you, obviously, the leaders of the civil rights and independence movements. But I want you to understand that, you know, there were also villains, you know, antagonists in your story as well. Then... Their movements met obstacles, they met challenges, and I want you to show us graphically what those challenges are, and then tell us about it. And then there's always going to be a peak event. Uh, the peak event could be, you know, when the soldiers attacked in Tiananmen, or when the police attacked the protesters. There's always some major turning point, um, and that turning point had some kind of an outcome. The outcome wasn't always great. In some cases, we, you know, we had the Civil Rights Act that, you know, that President Johnson signed, great event. Uh, we also had some events that were not so positive, like the outcomes and all the 3,000 people who were killed in Tiananmen Square and all the injuries that came as a result of that, and the communist government is still in place. <clears throat> now, I'm going to give you some tips for success. Each You have two pictures here. One of these is what you want. The other is what you don't want. Um, you can see on the right, you have an image of someone who's talking to the audience. On the left, we have three people who are talking to their smart board. We don't want you talking to your presentation. We want you talking to your audience. Another success tip, use meaningful graphics. Don't just throw in a graphic because you have to throw in a graphic. If you're going to use something, make sure it has purpose and meaning. On the left here, we have a an image that has lots of lines and lots of colors, and I honestly have looked at it for 10 minutes and I have no idea what it's saying. I could probably do a lecture on it, but it doesn't mean anything. On the right, clearly shows the people who keep their own medical records, and it's saying that most people don't. So we have a very you know clear example of what to use and what not to use. Next, uh, ask questions. Involve your audience. You'll see here that you, you often get, you know, absolutely dead bored people in your audience. I will be looking to see that your audience is involved. I absolutely want you to see the strategy, use the strategies that you have to use to ask questions, involve your audience, get them caring about your product, about your story. That's the point of this. I'm looking for how much they care about your presentation and how involved they are. So don't want to see sleeping. We want to see raised hands. And then finally, remember that your audience has self-interest. And what I mean by self-interest is, what's in it for me? Your audience wants to know, why should I care? And once you tell them what they, you know, once you understand why they should care about it, that's going to really draw their interest. This is all due. Or you can work on different platforms, rather. You can work on Google Slides. You can work on a Prezi. Um, you can pick another uh, platform of your choice. Uh, others, I want approval in advance. I would actually prefer you not get involved with PowerPoint um, just because I want you to branch out. We've overused PowerPoint. I want to see something in slides, Prezi, uh, something else that's going to be a lot more interesting. So please uh, consider something other than PowerPoint. And then finally, the due date is December 18th. So make sure you get that in on time for December 18th. Um, hope this was a helpful slideshow and thank you so much for watching.